Greetings. We bring earlier this week's video because of something supremely important that was generated or created, an autonomous artificial intelligence. Let's begin. This tool was launched two days ago. In fact, they are still making adjustments at this time. Two hours ago, they made an adjustment and is basically a connection with ChatGPT. We have already made several videos related to artificial intelligence in the channel where we have talked about ChatGPT. You will remember that it is a tool that allows us to chat and ask questions of different types. But now imagine you can ask questions to this artificial intelligence that it can even talk. And so it is a little more automatic because remember that ChatGPT has data up to 2021. Then there is a deficiency, some things that are not achieved. But with this tool, it connects to Google and can make queries. The installation is very simple. We're going to see it. It's very easy. The only thing that you have to do is to download it, clone the repository. Here are the instructions. You have to clone the repository. The only thing that you have to do and then install the necessary requirements for it to work. So we're going to work in our machine, Cully. And the only thing you have to do is to clone that repository. I already did it, but I'll show you the command just in case. This would be the command, but I already have it. Once you clone it, you have to go to auto GPT. You will see that there is a file called requirements.txt. That is the one they mention. And you have to install everything they ask for. You have to say pip install minus r requirements txt to be able to install all the libraries that are required. I already have everything installed, so, well, you don't need to do this. But if you want to take a look, you can take a look at the file of what it's asking for. It's asking for OpenAI, which is basically the artificial intelligence chat that it's going to connect to so you can ask it questions. Apart from that, you need something very important. You need an API that you have to pay from open, look open AI, API. This basically doesn't have a specific cost. Why? Because open API. The API basically is the tool that allows us to connect to the chat and make queries. It allows that tool to connect to the chat and make queries. You have to register and you need a credit card. That yes, but it is quite cheap, the truth is not expensive. They charge you like 0.004 cents for each time that you make consultations, more or less. That is to say it is not so expensive, but still keep in mind that you need a credit card to be able to make connection with this. Here is a little bit of what the API is. Basically, the API allows you to connect to different things, to different artificial intelligence models that OpenAI. OpenAI is not just a chat. OpenAI even has plugins, have been generating a lot of tools around it. This is impressive. So while I set up the API also to be able to make queries, basically the API is like an authentication mechanism to show them that I do have an account and that I have the ability to use ChatGPT services. You could also connect it to the 11 Labs API. Look, I don't know if you remember this tool, but I'll show it here. 11 Labs is the tool that I showed in another a few days ago where I talked about how cyber criminals can use these tools to generate voice, to imitate the voice of a person. You guys probably remember. Hello, may I speak with David Pereira? Hi, my name is Monik and I'm calling from Bank ABC. With this tool also, by setting up the API, the connection with this tool, you can ask it questions to the artificial intelligence. So let's see a little bit how it works. On the same page, it tells us that what you have to do is to go to scripts. It doesn't say that, but I'll explain it to you. You have to go to scripts, CD scripts, and inside scripts, you're going to find the main.py. Then you're going to say Python, Python 3, main 2, dot. I'm going to run it first with continuous because otherwise it's going to ask you every time it's going to be a Google search. It's going to ask you if it can go to Google or not. So I'm going to say continuous. So it doesn't ask me, I'm going to hit enter. Then look, it already tells us, so, what we want to do. If I want to continue with what I had asked it, I asked it about the YouTube channel. Right now, I'm going to say no. 
right? And what am I going to call this artificial intelligence? I'm going to call it, for example, helper. I called it helper. For example, helper GPT, the GPT helper. And well, your role, what's the role you're going to help me do? You choose what you need it to do. For example, learn a topic, understand something. For example, create a logo, that kind of thing. If we are talking about cybersecurity, well, for example, protect my website better. So I can say, protect, I'm going to do it in Spanish. Protect my website. For example, protect my website. Done. So, what are the goals of this artificial intelligence? So I wanted to explain it to me, how I can protect my website. So, give me information about how best protect my website, okay? One thing is the role that I am already going to use it to protect my website, but there are some goals that are much more specific. I am just going to use one so that the video does not get so long. I'll press enter again so it continues. Then look, it is, well, it is trying to do the parsing. Okay, it started, look, it started. Basically, let's see. Suddenly the prompt didn't help it much. Because I'm trying it in Spanish. Let's try it in English. I haven't tried this before. I'm going to slow it down and give it to it in English. Then we're going to do it again. This I had not tested it in Spanish. I am going to tell it not to continue. And well, then the name, Helper, done. Then, we are going to tell it. Autonomous. Website protection. For example, done. Goals. Then we're going to tell it. Protect. My. Let's tell it. Give me. Ten. Recommendations. To protect. My. Website. My website. I'm going to tell it at once. Sec Pro. Co, for example. I'm going to tell it the whole URL at once. Done. Enter. Well, there I gave give me a space, but well, let's see. Now it got it. See, it didn't understand in Spanish. Important to know. Okay, look, it is analyzing my web page. It is looking for arguments. Then, it is trying to detect security mechanisms that already exist. It is reading the whole web page. As you can see, it is very autonomous. That is, you simply tell it what you need, and it executes it all at once. Look, let's see, is looking at the arguments. Obviously, my page does not provide specific information about the security it's using. I don't want it to do that, in fact. Okay. Well, you see it keeps working. Autonomously, I don't have to do anything. I'll let it, it is thinking, and look at the idea, say, thinking generates a reasoning, look, as the website doesn't prove security measures or information about security measures, then it is important that I log this information to ensure future recommendations. The plan, have the GPT agent generate a message, store the message in memory, and the criticality part, like what, let's say, the devil's advocate is basically what can happen against what he's thinking. Then a simple task, and I can store the information permanently without using an agent, and so on. Well, now it's going to Google. Further down, it tells us, now I'm going to Google. Here it is. I'm going to ask Google what information about best practices for providing security on a website. Then look, it already did the query by itself. Look, the input was what are the industry best practices for web assurance. Look, it already told us about CISA, etc., etc. And then as you see there, it goes on. I'm going to stop it so you can hear him talk. Now, you can simply tell it minus, minus speak if you already connected it with the 11 Labs API. Well, just, and it will work. How do you do it? With an environment variable. 
you simply have to tell it to export. And the variables that help is here. Doc, would you like me to return to being helper? Down here with this help you have, look here it is much simpler to explain. You just have to tell export. The key, I'll show them to you so you don't go crazy. And well, I have to blur that part. Look, here I'm going to tell him to continue. You heard him talk, I hope, is that I'm talking, and it is talking. I'm going to let him speak the first time, and I'll show you the other thing. Well, in the meantime, for you to put the variable. Delegate the task of reviewing the website and generating a list of recommendations to a GPT. Agent for efficiency and accuracy. GPT Agent 1 here, reporting for duty. Entonces, miren. Hello GPT Agent 1. Your task is as follows. Review website security and provide recommendations. See? So look, to put the APIs, in case you're going to test it, then you have to say export. Right? And there you're going to say open AI, underscore API, underscore key, the same. And the API. That is the blurred out part, is the API of my account. Then you're going to put it and you're going to press enter. And that's what you have to do. The same for the 11 labs. You can do the same. After reviewing the website, https slash slash secpro.co, here are some recommendations to improve its security. One. Use HTTPS. Currently, the website is not using HTTPS, which means that data exchanged between the website and the user's computer is not encrypted. Therefore, it is recommended to use HTTPS to secure the user's data and prevent eavesdropping or tampering. 2. Implement two-factor authentication. Adding an extra layer of security through two-factor authentication can prevent unauthorized access. Usernames and passwords can be easily stolen or guessed. So adding two-factor authentication can make it much harder for attackers to gain... You see, an autonomous intelligence that learns, that tests, that connects to the internet, that searches and, well, very, in the style of Jarvis. Precisely. And well, Marvel fans will understand me. Well, I hope you found the video interesting. And as always, take care of yourselves and learn everything you can and see you in the next video.